Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB AI Tester Certification. We are in chapter 9 and talking about the various methods and technologies for testing an AI based system and we have covered all topics related to this chapter so far and it's time for us to look into some of the sample questions from this chapter as well and try to understand what could of trickiness what could be the trickiness involved here and how exactly we can look forward to respond to these and what could be the challenges involved in answering them correct well the very first question for the day from chapter 9 is of course uh, right here on your screen the question says an ml engineer is trying to find exploitable inputs and then use these inputs to retain the model to make them immune to these inputs now i think we are pretty much clear what are we referring to here we are just trying to say that he or she is basically first trying to find what are those several set of data or inputs which can exploit the behavior of the ml model and at the same time we are trying to keep this data but letting the train uh, train the model or letting the model know that hey you don't have to misbehave if you get these kind of information right so it's kind of like making uh the system more stabilized when wrong or exploitable data are used. Now, I think this is very, very straightforward, but still, which of the following option best describes the approach being used by the ML engineer? Um, so to be frank, of course, this is referring to a lot of concepts which we have covered in our this entire chapter and the methods and techniques what we have related to. But here we do have few of the options given to us and we must be very, very, uh, appropriate with the definition of the techniques and the approaches which brings us to the complete understanding of what exactly it is so number one is of course validation the word validation it is not validation because we are not trying to test anything in particular we, uh, as the exploitable inputs are being found and retraining is being done so this is not what we call it as validation validation is more about using some set of data to see what is the expected output and is it as per the requirement or not. So testing a system is what we refer to as validation. But here we are not validating anything. We are rather trying to identify those exploitable data to the ML model and retraining the system to include them, right? So A is absolutely not the one. Of course, the you know appropriate definition goes in line with adversarial testing, which is like adverse effects or otherwise. So we can call it a different way and say that, yeah, adversarial is something which we talk about the data which could have adverse effect or side effects on an ML model or AI based system. So adversarial is the only definition here. But talking about C, what is data pipeline testing? Data pipeline testing is uh, not correct because there are not any data pipelines that are being tested in this situation so as far as the word testing comes into picture you can save your time because this entire statement what is given to you is not about testing at all so testing words can be easily taken off from the list and uh, you can just concentrate on the approach which we are talking about so adversarial is also testing but here it is more about the identification and uh, the approach of retraining the model so that's where the adversarial comes into picture and talking about d of course that is scalability testing i think we are not talking about any kind of performance upgradation number of people working on it so no scalability tests are being performed in this given example so we cannot make any such statement so being very straightforward and to the point the right answer here is b adversarial testing is basically a method where an ML engineer tries to find out the exploitable data to ML model and then retrains the model to accept it but behave as expected. All right, moving on to the next here, there's another scenario with one line saying that a test manager decides to have a non-AI system with similar functionality to the AI based system under test, which is SUT built to support system testing. That means they're just trying to blend things together, right? They are deciding to have a non-AI based system with similar functionality to the AI based system, which is under test built to support the system testing, which of the following statement is most likely to be correct. So 
Let's get into each of these statements. Number one, A says the test manager has chosen back-to-back -back testing because it helps solve the test oracle problem by using a pseudo oracle. I think that's, again, one of the most appropriate statement being spoken about uh, with respect to the question given to you because uh, we are keeping one of the system as a reference and from there we are trying to use the information to create the test cases because we use back-to-back -back testing when it comes to uh, comparison or we, when we have the test oracle issues like we don't have any kind of information to derive our expected results we make use of similar kind of applications which is behaving appropriately and use that oracle as the oracle of the new system to be tested so this goes perfectly in line with back-to-back -back testing but as we do have other option also talking about back-to-back -back testing let's see what are the other options saying b says the test manager has chosen a or b testing because it helps solve the test oracle problem by using a pseudo oracle. Now, A or B testing is right, it's of course, something different. Okay, A or B testing is, uh, with, of course, with the A or B testing, we use a variant of SUT to compare with the SUT, uh, which is like variant, but it's not the same, right? Uh, pseudo oracle is something very important but it's, it's more of like we are not trying to just compare two systems together but we are trying to retrieve the expected results from the existing AI based or non AI based systems to uh, get the problem being solved related to the test oracle but here in option B it says we have just chosen A or B testing because it helps to solve the test oracle problem now it's more of like comparing two different systems or two different variant of systems but not about solving the problem of test oracle talking about c again it says test manager has chosen back-to-back -back testing because the non-functional requirement of the sut can be verified against the pseudo oracle i think uh, again this should be incorrect because the resources and the non-functional characteristics of a pseudo oracle and the sut are likely to be different right and hence the uh, alternative system cannot be used for non-functional testing because they may have different expectation from the non-functional quality characteristics, but functionality would maybe same. So I can use a comparative system only from the perspective of functional appropriate. And moreover, if you look at the definition in the you know question, it says they are doing it for system testing and non-functional does not include system testing, right? So many hints to give you or to get during the examinations to be sure about is this option is supposed to be selected or not right and again they are telling the same thing with respect to the a or b so all they wanted you to kind of like judge whether it is a or b testing or back to back testing with proper justification so two questions being asked to you in the same right one they wanted to know do you know what are the, each of these methods second is that the right justification for it so D anyway is saying that test manager has chosen A or B testing because the non-functional requirements of the SUT can be verified against pseudo oracle. Answer is absolutely not because it is an example of back-to-back -back testing and also the resources and non-functional characteristics of the pseudo oracle are likely to be different. So I think put together we have our right answer with us and that's appropriately A. The test manager has chosen back-to-back -back testing because it helps solve the test oracle problem by using a pseudo oracle. So remember team, the pseudo code, pseudo oracle problems can only be solved with respect to back-to-back -to -back by taking a reference from an existing application with similar functionality. So put together, these are a few questions what we wanted to share with you from this particular chapter and we'll be looking forward to continue with our next chapter, of course, in the next tutorial. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.